We are a long way from home today. We're at Tumbleweed Ranch. You ever heard of that? This is the home of TFL Truck and TFL Off-Road and, well, several other channels. They do a lot of tug-of-wars on TFL Truck and we challenged them. Think this thing is gonna win a tug-of-war with a Ram 2500? We'll have to see. Let's get started. Hey, just like any competition, we're trying to make sure we can get the odds in our favor a little bit. We have a Deer 4066M HD for heavy duty, and we're trying to figure out how to hook it up to the best of our advantage. Now, for you guys at home, if you're wanting to pull something, use the drawbar on the tractor. Don't pay any attention to what we're thinking about doing here. We've got a chain wrapped around the ballast box here, and we're thinking maybe we can get a little extra weight pulled down on the rear tires. We're also thinking maybe if we pick it up good and high, maybe we can take a little weight off of their rear tires. Think maybe that'll work? We're gonna, we're gonna try that. You know, we can, we can come up with any secret. Now, the tractor is stock. We took a little air out of the rear tires. Uh, they're at 16 PSI now. Don't tell them, but we did put rim guard in the tires. Rim guard, yeah. Liquid tire ballast, 11 pounds per gallon. So we're doing everything we can. We don't know whether we can outpull this Ram 2500 or not, but we're gonna try. We're thinking one other trick we can do is get a, a load of rock in the front bucket here. I don't know what else we can do to get more weight, but I'm thinking more weight is the trick to winning this tug of war. Now we'll we should have a little bit better traction, um, but I don't think we've got quite as much weight as the truck. We, we, we really don't know how much the truck weighs. Um, we do know how much this tractor weighs. I'll get to that a little later. This is a first for us. If you look back through our channel history, you'll know that we've never done a tug of war on this channel. And quite frankly, I can promise you that it will not become a regular feature here. We see a tug of war as a lot of fun and perhaps something you can get some laughs out of, but I'm not sure it really proves anything. So enjoy the fun and don't draw too many conclusions. Hello, my friend. Hi, Andre. Good to see you. So Tim, what have you brought? Well, I brought a John Deere 4 Series tractor. I don't know if this is enough to take on the reigning champion here or not, but we'll try. This is good. I'm kind of excited about this. All right, tell me about the 4. This, this tractor is, uh, it looks about the same between 44 horsepower and 66. We brought the 66. Nice. How many horsepower has that Ram got? Only 370. Oh. But, but, but here's the thing. I see you brought some rock in your bucket. What's behind you? What is that box? Oh, uh, don't pay any attention to the box. That's just, uh, uh, that, that's, that's, it's just a little extra weight. Okay, so you got weight, you got gearing, got giant tires. So this could be interesting. All right, well, keep going. So 66 horsepower? 66 horsepower in the engine. This is kind of the heavy duty version of the 4 Series. So it's a little heavier than okay. the standard 4 Series. Um, it's got a heavier loader. It's got a big weight rack in the front. It's, it's, um, it's just, it's built heavier and yet it's a little shorter than some of the other 4 Series. Quite frankly, it was built for chicken farmers. Okay. So they could get it into their chicken houses and yet still do some serious work. You talked about the extra weight. I'm just not sure we're going to be competitive. So we tried to get a bucket load of rock. Okay. And then we tried to get some concrete here in this rear ballast box. Okay. Um, and so we're weighted about as heavy as we could be. And I did eat a couple extra cheeseburgers for lunch just to see if I could help that out a little bit All more. right. And this is, this is four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Okay. So yeah, th I think this could be a really excellent tug of war because it's unpredictable. Totally different machines, right? Yeah. I mean, the horsepower difference is amazing, but so many other things are, are different as well. So yeah. I really don't know where this is going to end up. We kept our camera at a distance so you could see a little bit of maybe a behind the scenes approach here. TFL is a fairly large organization. Well, at least compared to Tractor Time with Tim. They have several employees on their team and we have, well, me and Christy. So check out TFL Truck for a more produced version Andre, of this I see all these ruts out here where the previous competitors have yes. tried and failed. Suffered. <laughs> but you're on fresh ground. Okay, but good. Wait. The way you need to pull with a tractor is to hook onto the drawbar down here below. 
There it right. is. That's what it's made for. That's, that's how you're supposed to pull. But since I don't know if I have a very good chance, I'm hooking it a little higher. And by yeah. hooking it a little bit higher, I'm gonna get a little bit more down pressure. And so I'm trying to cheat. So that's okay, that's, a, that's okay. I actually lowered the three point to be more fair and then forgot to pull it up later on. Okay. So what are the rules? I mean, there are no rules. Oh. No, there are rules. Well, three, two, one, go. How far can I pull you? <sighs> well, hopefully just uh, 15 feet. Oh, I thought maybe I could pull you all the way around the ranch. No, I don't like that. What they don't know is that we weigh almost 9,000 pounds with that front loader bucket. We'll never tell him that. Well, unless we win, and then we'll kind of mention it. Hopefully, we'll make this look easy. All right, Tim, are you ready to lose? I'm ready to roll. No, I said, are you ready to lose? I, who said anything about me losing? All right, Tim, I'm going to go to four low, first gear, and traction control is automatically disabled. OK, I'm in A range, and I'm running about 2,000 RPM. Three, two, one, go. At first, it felt like it was going to be easy. Come on, come on. Come on, Ralph. And then we both got dug in, and that was the end of the movement. And you were saying you're gonna pull me to up up the mountain? I won though by four feet. You did win. You just you just have a lot of torque, dude. A lot of this torque. this was an even match. I, I can't imagine two machines. But but, but I thought you weigh like six thousand pounds, right? Well, I may weigh a little more than that. How much? Probably somewhere around maybe eighty five hundred. You didn't tell me that ahead of time. Well, I was afraid that you'd pull me backwards and I wanted to have some excuse. Well, there you have it. So I need to bring something bigger next time. I'm thinking Unimog, no, a tracked vehicle. Ah, uh, we will have to bring the 9R out next time. How big is that? 640 horsepower. What? <laughs> All right, stay tuned. On next episode, uh, things will escalate likely. <laughs> <laughs> I made a little bit of a rut here, but I couldn't pull you. I could not. You were going towards the center of the earth there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about TFL. Uh, so we have off-road truck, a car, classics, and even motorcycles. So we kind of try. We don't have tractor yet, by the way. So this is that's already taken. That's already taken. You can just you can. So no TFL tractor, right? No, right. no, no. There's always room for another tractor channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I don't think I could do it because you know way more about this stuff than I do. But uh, yeah, so that's us, TFL Truck and TFL Studios. So what's the difference between TFL Truck and TFL Off-Road? Um, TFL Off-Road is, this has to be involved. Okay. Vehicles must be on dirt. TFL Truck, pickup trucks, towing, zero to 60s, drag races. It's more focused on the pickup. Sounds good. Check it out. TFL Truck or TFL Off-Road on YouTube. Tumbleweed Ranch. Yes. I mean, I've seen it on, on YouTube and it's even more beautiful in person. This is, this is an amazing place. Well, thank you for coming out. This is amazing. And you really made this happen because you brought the equipment and you know, we have the trucks here. Yeah, yeah. At Four Rivers Equipment provided uh, the tractor for this. There's no way we could cart it from Indiana, at least practically. Yes. I mean, this is it's beautiful country. Right behind us, you can't see it right here, but right behind us is the big mountain for Rocky Mountain National Park, right? Yes, yeah. So yeah, we're, right we're not very far away. It's a beautiful country. Thanks. Well, I learned a lot, Tim, by the way. Um, I don't spend enough time on uh, equipment like this. I learned a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. And hopefully we can do something again. Yeah, thank you. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. We have to do a handshake in the middle or something, right? We have to meet in the middle, yes. <laughs> High noon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we should do that actually. Yeah. Actually, it's 15 paces because the rope is 30 feet. That'd be 10 well, paces. Well, That'd be five paces. Five paces. <laughs> I mean, I meant, I meant to say one of these, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying?